Jersey, the Channel Islands. Hello. This may look like fun, but it's part of a training program. Former police officer Martin Grime is working his highly skilled and unusual sniffer dogs. All of them used to be with the South Yorkshire Police. They are here on Jersey as part of the investigation into allegations of child abuse and possible murder at the former children's home, Hope de la Garenne. Keela's speciality is finding human blood, while Eddie's been trained to find human remains. Every day, Martin Grime must work his dogs to make sure that their noses are in top condition. While they wait in his van, He's hiding a jar of sand. It contains the scent of 100-year-old human remains. Eddie will have to try and find it. Ready? Here, come. Good boy. Fine, fine. Fine, fine. A victim recovery dog are dogs that will search for and locate human remains. Eddie doesn't need a handler to help him. He searches on his own, often at night, across fields or up mountains. When he finds something, he barks. And it's from the pelvic cavity of a skeletized corpse that was buried some hundred odd years ago. Found it quite easily. Eddie, Keeler and Grime have been in Jersey for months. They were called in by the local police when the allegations of child abuse at Haute de la Garenne took an even more sinister turn. The crime rate is quite considerably lower. They don't have the experience of dealing with major crimes such as this, not only with the abuse, but also with the, the searching. The searching involved looking for the bodies of children. there was some anecdotal witness testimony that there had been some children that had mysteriously left the home um, and were not seen again. Grime put both of his dogs into the former children's home. They soon started to unlock deadly secrets, leading to the discovery of a possible underground torture chamber. Both dogs were deployed within the building. Um, and both dogs gave a number of indications. And as a result of the indications from the dogs, uh, human remains have been located within the building. This investigation is ongoing, and Eddie and Keeler will stay until it has been resolved. Keeler is Martin Grimes' star. For years in South Yorkshire, she was hired out to other forces for £530 a day a rate of pay in line with the chief constables. People love her. It's, it's her personality, her work drive, her enthusiasm, the fact that she's very, very fit. Oh, what are you going up there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Keela is three years old. She's trained not only to find microscopic traces of human blood at murder scenes, but also to detect blood traces on murder weapons which have been wiped clean. Yeah. When we're looking for something really, really small, she gets her nose over everything. What I'm saying is, come on, I want you to really, really sniff. I want you to really, really look for something that's very, very small here. Here, 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 here. Chit, 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 chit. nose is super sensitive, and that means it has to be carefully nurtured to make sure it never gets clogged. If they're really using the nose very, very hard, sometimes they have to just walk away and go, pfft, blow the nose out and start again. Here, kill. Keela's nose is about to be put to the test. While she waits in the van, Martin Grime hides a cloth with a tiny amount of human blood on it. His. That's the blood from one pinprick. Good girl. Here, come. On. Here, come. On. Here, what's this? Yeah. She'll actually freeze looking at um, the exact location of the blood with her nose probably a centimetre away from it, staring at it with her body rigid. You have no doubt as to where you're actually going to look. 
go cow. Oh, where is this? What we're able to do is say to her and I say she is 100% positive that what she's pointing at is blood. Keela and Eddie first hit the international headlines when four-year-old Madeline McCann...